everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Took power from me. SMT Nation, let me tell you a little bit about our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the Fox. You've seen the commercials. You know what they're about. They're about great value, giving you excellent customer care, and helping you save money. I know a lot of people are really going to enjoy these savings and take advantage of these great offers. Make sure to use our partner link and really reap the benefits of this service. All right, SMT Nation, we're doing some speed testing here. Uh, Verizon just turned on the N77 100 megahertz configuration here in the CLE market and big shout out to Nikki T he wanted me to do some video coverage on it so that's what we're going to do today we're going to start here in the lower level uh, we're going to see if maybe the connection gets a little bit more reliable now with more bandwidth possibly you know higher power output I'm not sure but uh we'll go ahead and test it all testing today will be on the iPhone 14 Pro Max we're going to test in the lower level of the SMT HQ I think what we'll also do is we'll test it on the main level and then we'll test it uh, on the upper level. We'll test it outside in the driveway on the porch and then actually we're going to drive towards the site and we're going to see what type of uh, range we're working with. So we're going to start here at the SMT HQ about a mile away from the site indoors and then work our way closer to the site and see what it's like during these peak times. All right, we're testing here in the afternoon iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now it doesn't show it. Right, it's not showing 5G ultra wideband. I don't know why the iPhone is so problematic, but um, that's it's definitely connected to it. There's no way CBRS is getting down here, uh, not with the low transmission level. So I'm not sure why it does this, uh, but it looks to me like this is improved. So typically, we get in the range of 150 to 200 megabits per second on N77 here at my desk in the in the studio. So. You know, this is an improvement. It definitely does improve the connection. You know, having the extra bandwidth, I'm, I'm assuming higher power output, you can get a better quality connection. I'm curious to see, though, if maybe we can airplane mode it, we can get the official, you know, um, icon or whatever. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Hopefully it does. But I can assure you guys, the... The LTE, the DSS situation for Verizon is not going to be able to do this. It's going to have to be the ultra wideband. Yeah, see, we picked it up. Uh, by the way, I'm on iOS, the the beta. It's uh, the guys on Twitter, man. They bullied me into downloading iOS, and I really regret it being on the beta. It's not that stable. It's not that good. Uh, but you saw we were connected to the ultra wideband there for a second, showing the icon. I'm not sure. Uh, what that situation is, but that's where it's at. All right, so 246 down. We're at about six on the up, six and a half up, 41 ping, seven jitter, 971 down, 610 up. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, head up to the main level and do some testing uh, there, and then we'll go ahead to the, the second floor or the upper level. All right, let's do this. There we go. All right, we're testing here in the dining room. Let's see. Guys, I might actually go back to um, get off the beta and go back on the stable software OS. All right, 237 down, looks like 22 up. I'm gonna go ahead and flash airplane mode real quick. I think we got us a stable connection. Much faster than before. About twice as fast. So we've been getting heavy data usage here and the speeds have been, you know, hanging around 150, 250 megabits on my home sector because of usage. So it's definitely helped a lot. 424 down, 25 up, 46 ping, five jitter. All right, let's see. Let's run one more just in case. All right, so we're at 406 down, 23.5 up, 44 ping, seven jitter. It's a nice bandwidth boost, guys. It's really helping the throughput. 
like I said, we've got a nice, you know, 60, 70, 80% speed improvement, especially the uplink. The uplink was getting down into the teens, so this is great. Uh, let's go ahead to the upper level and do some testing there. All right. All right, guys, we are here in the upper level now. Now the RSRP, the Sinar, everything should be better up here. So maybe we get some improved throughput. All right, so we did get some improved uplink, but the downlink, not that great. 288 down, 54 up, 43 ping, 28 jitter, so not great. Let's see if maybe we do a second test. Uh, the ping times are definitely lower in this test. All right, that seems more, more like it. And it looks like we're getting more speed here, and that's probably due to the improved signal quality and strength. All right, so we got a 26 ping, a 5 jitter, 565 on the down, and about 40, 41 megabits on the up. The extra bandwidth is definitely helping. Yeah, during the day, I couldn't really crack the 200 mark. Just a lot of usage on 60 megahertz, so the extra bandwidth coming in clutch. That's awesome. That is a very welcome sight. Uh, not that it was congested before, but the... The number of Verizon 5G home gateways that I see when I go jogging around the neighborhood now is crazy. The apartments here, the condos, you know, the homes, it's just so much, you know, uh, all this traffic and stuff. It's just a lot. All right, guys, let's uh, let's head outside now. Let's go. Let's go test outdoors. All right, guys, we are on the porch. We're outside and we're going to test. 5G ultra wideband here. So this, this should really improve the signal quality, being that we're outside with no type of obstacles or barriers for the signal. Should be more akin to what we saw on the second level, the upper level of the house. Who knows, maybe even better. Unless we've achieved like peak throughput, <laughs> just on bandwidth and usage. All right, 29 ping, 5 jitter, 498 down and 54.6 up. Let's do a second test before we actually start moving towards the cell site. Always want to double check, do a couple of tests. There's a lot of usage on this site, man. Wow. So going from the, going from the 60 to the 100 megahertz channel, basically doubling the downlink and uplink. Man, it is nice. And there's more to go. They've got 40 more megahertz of it. Plus, you know, there's no aggregation of C-band, uh, CBRS here. So that, that'd be interesting to see what happens after they do that. All right, 29 ping, 7 jitter, 421 down, and 43 up. We got some got some usage, guys. All right, let's, um, let's get closer to the site. We're about a mile away. Uh, let's go to, like, three-quarter mile. Then we'll go to half mile. And then we'll get close to the site and see what the peak throughputs are like. All right, y'all, we back. We're about three-quarter mile away from the site, and we're going to be testing this and seeing what type of performance we get from this range. I'm not sure, you know, what else changed. I try to keep, you know, kind of line of sight the same, sort of. Just tried to change the distance. We're on the same sector and everything, so I don't have to worry about that. And we definitely are connected to the ultra-wideband. All right, we got... 488 down we're in the upper 60s about 70 megabits for the uplink and we got 28 ping and four jitter all right let's go ahead and run our second test let's confirm the results again i always recommend taking you know taking two tests or so just to be sure but the performance looks very similar to what we got you know on the front step of the house so at one mile versus three quarters mile, oh wow, really helps the uplink for sure. That's a very nice improvement in uplink. Downlink's just about the same. 511 down, 78 up, 29 ping, 5 jitter. Looks good. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and close the distance. Uh, let's get closer to the half mile mark. All right, folks, we are now a half a mile away from the site. 
I tried to keep the kind of, kind of like the same line uh, so we're making sure we're on the same sector and everything uh, so we just basically shortened up the distance by about a quarter mile and we're gonna go ahead and test the results and see how it performs with respect to that that range change uh, so we are on 5G ultra wideband you'll see it in the upper right hand corner uh, and we got about a 29 ping and a 3 jitter downlink throughput okay we got a little bit of extra juice there got about 560 and the uplink improved absolutely tremendously okay so that's a nice leap compared to the last couple of tests you guys could see how distance really makes a big deal with respect to the signal quality especially when it when we're talking about uplink here all right mimo really does a nice a nice number there so 560 down and 109 on the up remember we went from a 60 megahertz bandwidth channel to 100 the site peak was doing like 60 70 megabits you know now you're getting that extra uplink i mean that's that's really nice stuff there uh let's go ahead and give it a second go you never know you got to make sure you know you're getting the right stuff there all right wow so i'm i'm quite impressed by the uplink that's really nice although i'm not completely surprised because i had been testing sites on 60 megahertz bandwidth that we're getting uplinks over 100 megabits like 100 105 110 so this is pretty nice, uh, but this is exciting because, then for the folks that are, you know, in these MDUs and for the folks that are, you know, looking for something to compete with a cable option or a DSL, you know, this is the type of thing you might be getting. All right, 42 ping, seven jitter, 482 down, and 89 and a half up. All right, good stuff there. That's the half mile test. Let's close the distance. Uh, let's get to about a quarter mile distance. All right, folks. So there it is. We're about a quarter mile away. And there is the cell site. All right, so you'll see the smaller antenna. That's the CBRS. It's only on LTE right now. Uh, to the left of it, you'll see the C-band, the N77. And then you'll see the other antennas. Those are um, all the other frequencies, everything. It's like AWS or lower. All right, so good stuff there. Uh, let's go ahead and test it. Perform here. Yeah, we're pretty close. So I'm I'm guessing we should see even more throughput on the uplink side. Not expecting too much more for downlink just because of the usage. Wow, actually there's a considerable amount of throughput left. Alright, so that for peak usage, peak time, that looks like that's going to be it. 748 down, 103 up. We've got a ping of 26, and we have a jitter of 3. Mm, that is really nice stuff. And the reason I say that is because, guys, there is usage on this site. This is no joke. Uh, the 5G home internet uptake, the mobile usage, the market share here is crazy. This is really impressive. For a 100 megahertz channel... That's what 10 gig fiber circuits can do. And I'm a fan of the Samsung, you know, radio gear. It's pretty good. And... Uh, Ookla is a piece of crap. <laughs> or iOS is a piece of crap. One, both, uh, the other, I don't know. All right, let's restart the, the speed test here. App fail. My goodness. So we basically went from, you know, two, three, four, five hundred megabits per second up to this. Wow. That is really good. We're now over 800 megabits for downlink throughput. 92 on the uplink. 837. Wow. All right, good stuff, guys. Tell me what you think of the testing here quarter mile away all right and all the the different tests nikki i hope you enjoyed the video man uh more bandwidth coming we still got 40 megahertz to go and all the cbrs and all that greatness so we'll see how it plays out guys look out for verizon they're coming doing upgrades lots of bandwidth all those modifications across the country good times